Hi, this video will show how to fetch multiple stock values from the Google Finance site. Let us begin. We will work with this file structure. I have an input CSV file. The file includes the company name and the stock symbol. Note the stock symbol is in the format stock symbol colon stock exchange symbol. We will fetch the stock values. I have opened Automation Edge Process Studio. On the workspace, I use the new project option to create a project. And on the project, I use the new workflow option to create a workflow multiple stock values. Let us start with the CSV input step. Drag and drop the CSV file input step. Configure it to read the stock symbol CSV file. Click the Get Fields button. You can make the file path dynamic to the current workflow directory. Click OK. Since we will fetch values from a web page, it is a GUI workflow. Let us drag and drop a Start Browser step. Let us configure the properties. Since it is not a Start node, let us keep the Start node unchecked. And uh, I will choose Google Chrome as my browser. In the web URL, let us provide a URL. Click OK. Since we will perform the task of fetching the stock values multiple times, drag and drop the start loop step. It automatically drops the continue step. In the start loop step, provide an iterator name, say count, and the number of iterations for each row. It is one in our case as we will fetch the stock value once. Click OK. The Google website to fetch stock values is google.com finance slash quote slash the stock symbol. And the stock symbol is in the format stock symbol colon stock exchange symbol. We will build the URL for each stock with a JavaScript. After the start loop, drag and drop a modified JavaScript value step and connect it with the condition true. In the JavaScript value step, define a variable for the stock symbol URL. Click on the get variables so that the stock URL is available in the stream. Click OK. Next drop a web URL navigation step to navigate to the respective stock symbol URL. Let us configure the step in the web URL. Select the test URL generated in the JavaScript step. In the page load timeout, increase the timeout value. Click OK. We will generate the step to fetch the stock value with GUI Spy. Navigate to the tools menu and select the GUI Spy. We are only interested in the web mode. Provide a sample URL. Click Go. Press the spy icon. Hover over the stock value and click the back tick. It opens the generate step window. In the step generation section, select the step type from single or composite. Select an action from the drop down list. Let us select the web get value action. In the output field name, let us provide stock value. In the criteria field, choose a criteria from the drop down list. The criteria values are visible in the attribute section above. We will choose XPath as the criteria. Click generate. Now let us check on Process Studio. It has generated the web get value step. Let us close the generate step window and let us close web spy toolbar. We wish to store the stock values in a text file. Drag and drop a text file output step. Configure it. We wish to store it in the current workflow directory. So parameterize it. And the extension is txt. And in the fields tab, click the get fields button to get the fields in the stream. We wish to keep the company name, symbol and stock value. So let us remove the count and test URL. Click OK. Now connect the text file output step to the continue loop step. Now let us Search for the exit browser step, drag and drop the exit browser step on the canvas and connect the false path of the start loop to the exit browser. This completes our workflow and we are ready to execute the workflow. Let us run the workflow. It has started performing the GUI automation. View the automation. So it fetches the Google stock value. Next, the Infosys stock value, Samsung electronics stock value the Apple Incorporated stock value and the Amazon stock value. Let us go back to Process Studio. The workflow has completed successfully. Let us preview the results. As you can see, the stock values have been fetched. Let us also check the text file output. As you can see, the company name, its symbol and the stock value 
is stored in the text output file. We saw how to fetch multiple stock values from Google Finance website. Thank you for watching.